among the wealthiest comedians in the world, including Jerry Seinfeld and Kevin Hart. Joe Rogan is giving this veteran funny man a run for their money. He has been a stand-up comedian for more than 20 years. Fans will also remember him appearing in the controversial reality TV show Fear Factor for over a decade. Crammed full of scary stunts and contestants consuming some truly nasty foods, including creepy crawly creatures that were sometimes still alive. The show was really a nail biter. Even though it seems as though Rogan is all over the map with his career, in fact, it's right on track. He has wisely utilized his knowledge, expertise, and associations with other celebrities. Along with their popularity with high trending topics much to his credit. For example, in addition to his influential MMA knowledge, connections, and commentaries, he also hosts some of the UFC events airing on ESPN. When it comes to this beloved media-drenched celebrity, his net worth is estimated to be in the $25 million range. Definitely, Joe Rogan has done a lot. He's been a successful stand-up comic, a sitcom actor, and the host of Fear Factor, a UFC color commentator, and is the host of his own podcast, The Joe Rogan Experience, for which he reportedly earns $100,000 per episode. That all adds up to a net worth of a rumored $25 million. That's quite a chunk of change for a likable, popular podcaster who seems to have no problem having a lot of hot irons on the fire. But for a guy that stated that the pursuit of wealth is ultimately empty, what does he do with all that green? Let's check it out! But before we proceed, do not forget to subscribe and click the bell button to get notified whenever we post a new video. And of course, do not forget to comment down below. I subscribe to get a shout out on our next video. Well, Rogan's expenses start with his home in the hills of Ventura County in California. The home is located in a gated community in the hill area of Bell Canyon and measures 7,573 square feet. With a six-bedroom home that totals to 8,720 square feet, which is definitely plenty of space for his wife and two daughters. The home cost Rogan $2.2 million when he bought it. Of course, you've got to make money to spend money, and if you're going to do that, then why not do it in style? For his podcast, which is his major cash cow, Rogan has set up a 14,000 square foot recording studio that he has spent millions in getting it just right. Although the term studio may be a little modest, in reality, Joe and his team built the space by completely remodeling an entire warehouse. He now describes the location as a deck out man cave. The setup includes Shure SM7B microphones and 27-inch Apple iMacs. Hobbies are also a source of spending, and for Rogan, that means archery. An accomplished hunter, Rogan has an indoor archery range with a digital target. Rogan's bow itself is an expensive model. Not counting all the add-ons that Rogan has put onto his bow, the baseball goes over 1,200 US dollars. Rogan also has private sports and conditioning gym that includes sauna and a pool table. He also has his own private sensory deprivation tank. 
Dreaming to be like Joe Rogan? Well, before you proceed, do not forget to subscribe and click the bell button to get notified whenever we post a new video. And of course, do not forget to comment down below, I subscribe to get a shout out on our next video. Overwhelmed yet? Rogan also has a collection of Casio G-Shock watches. That's not his only collection, he also has a growing collection of muscle cars. Over the years, Joe Rogan has owned an impressive collection of sports cars, including 1965 Corvette Stingray, a custom Porsche 911 GT3 RS, and Tesla Model S P100D, which he bought after talking to Elon Musk about it on podcasts. He also bought a 1970 Plymouth Barracuda and a 2014 Ford Mustang. Though his favorite is a Restomod 1965 Corvette Stingray. Joe Rogan's rise from lost and broke college dropout to a multi-millionaire renaissance man highlights a few wealth-building secrets. First is he hustled. Before Fear Factor, the UFC and his mega successful podcast, Joe experienced tons of late nights in empty bars, performing for uninterested drunks, and hoping the owner's $50 check for an entire night's work wouldn't bounce. And in between that, he drove himself all over the country, staying in grudgy, cheap motel rooms night after night, because that's where the gigs were. Second, he always said yes to opportunities. How else do you go from getting coaxed by your friends into trying stand-up for the first time to auditioning for a sitcom plays halfway across the country to taking a chance on some show about people eating cockroaches and burying themselves in counters? Life is really hard, but when life hands you opportunity, you can either make excuses or be like Joe and say, what the hell, I'll give it a shot. Lastly, Joe Rogan kept trying until he found what he was good at. Joe describes feeling like a total loser as a teenager. He felt like he wasn't ever good at anything. Eventually, he found stand-up comedy. Everyone is destined to be great at something. Joe's story teaches us to keep turning through all the failures because eventually you'll find your calling. Once you do, your natural passion will propel you to success. Rogan definitely is a hard worker, but he's also not afraid to play, including putting money into things. Fortunately for him, he has plenty of money to do those things with. That's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you learned a thing or two. Goodbye!